Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you to this video. Uh, today I am discussing my learnings from the Middle Discourses 28 uh, given by the uh, Sariputta who was one of the closest and uh, very very uh, known disciples of uh, the Buddha and uh, very wise disciples of the Buddha and this discourse is basically the name of the discourse is the longer simile of the elephant's footprint right and this discourse is basically a very very deep discourse it's like a master discourse on uh, the importance of the buddha's teaching on the four noble truths the elements the four elements and the teaching on the dependent origination so i highly advise if you are in the buddha's teachings please do read this full discourse it will really help you in your learning uh, the link to the entire discourse uh, the sutta central link is given in the uh, uh, description please download it and read it at your own i am giving basically a gist of the discourse what it says here right so basically so <clears throat> once buddha was staying near near savatthi in jetta's grove anandapitaka monastery sariputta addressed the mendicants so this is basically given by sariputta one of the buddha's very very wise disciples so sariputta said mendicants footprints of all creatures that can walk can fit inside so basically the discourse the simile is given of an elephant's footprint and whereby the uh, sariputta is saying that footprint of all the creatures can fit in the elephant's footprint that means all creatures have small footprints as compared to elephant's footprint so everyone's footprint can fit in the uh, uh, any any person's footprint can fit in the elephant's footprint so the 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 simile that is there meant that that all the teachings of the buddha fit into the four noble truths what are the four noble truths noble truths of suffering that means life in life everything is suffering second is origin of suffering what is the origin of suffering craving and even deeper uh, 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 cause is the ignorance right third is cessation that this suffering can be ceased and fourth is the practice that leads to cessation of suffering which is the noble eightfold path so this is the core teaching of the buddha so every other teaching of the buddha fits into this core teaching of the buddha then he basically explains the noble truth of suffering uh, rebirth is suffering old age is suffering all those th things he is explaining and then in brief the five grasping aggregates are formed right and what are the five grasping aggregates five grasping aggregates are grasping aggregates of form feeling perception choices and consciousness these five basically we are all composed of these five aggregates and this grasping of these five aggregates is suffering then uh, then he is explaining one by one what are the grasping aggregates of form there are basically four elements in this creation in this samsara elements of earth water fire and air then he tried to individually explain the four elements like earth element earth element he is explaining that maybe interior or exterior anything hard solid like for example in body it is the head hair body hair nail teeth skin flesh bones bone marrow kidney liver right? anything solid right so basically uh, 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 the uh, sariputta says this should be truly seen with right understanding like this is not mine this is not myself when you truly see it with right understanding you go disillusioned with the earth element detaching the mind from the earth element so friends the practice that we are doing the being mindful of the various elements flow of various elements is slowly 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 when we are doing this practice we are we are detaching our mind from these elements otherwise what we are just thinking is that i as a abhinav is like one entity right but now i slowly slowly realize that okay i am no long one entity there are these various play of these elements that are happening in me right sometimes my air element is high in me sometimes earth element is high in me sometimes water element is high in me right so that way these it's i'm just a play of the elements right so then he is explaining about the one by one the various elements right then he then sariputta says that if others abuse attack harass and trouble the mendicant they understand this painful feeling born of ear contact has arisen in me that means what has happened is someone if someone abuses me what is happening is there is this sound 
which interacts my with my ear base and that results is in a feeling which is a negative feeling right so as a mendicant i i recognize that this is what the feeling has arisen is basically a dependent thing which has arisen out of the interaction between the eye base sorry the ear base and the sound so so basically the thing is they see that the contact feelings dependent on what dependent on contact they are dependent not independent they see that contact feeling perception choices and consciousness are impermanent based on that element alone their mind becomes secure confident so this is a basically our practice more we are mindful of the play of various things that are happening more we realize that it is just a play of happening so we so see the early in the vedic uh, rituals and all they basically try to kind of mold the elements for their benefit right they they you know for their specific goals here they try to you know show themselves that they are more they, they are much more than the uh, than the elements in buddha's teachings basically we do not kind of mold or kind of you know uh, mold the, the 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 elements in 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 vedic uh, uh, this thing these basically elements are basically deities they worship them like deities and then they do the rituals to mold them in line with what they want in buddha's teachings we basically we are we aim for freedom from these elements till the time we uh, we have our own desires and wishes and we try to mold them through the rituals and prayers and everything we will remain bound but in buddha's teachings we come out of these kind of moldings we seek freedom from these elements we just witness these elements rise and fall and this is the way to come out of suffering otherwise for some time but through the use of rituals and all we will feel good and you know results some results that what we want in this creation so what we are doing is we are bending the uh, these elements to suit our in our favor but they will not free us from suffering we will continue to be in suffering right that's why buddha's path frees us completely from suffering where we basically recognize this dependent nature of these elements and and this this fact that everything that is there all the five aggregates are totally impermanent then what is the reason for suffering so that insight dawns on us then that insight frees us so similarly earth element has been explained then uh, then here there is a reference about this that uh, 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 the mendicant with disliking loathing and detestation st people striking the mendicant with fists stones sticks so they understand that this body is this body also of this nature right fists stones and sticks strike it but vidha has advised in the uh, simile of saw even if low low down bandits were to severe you from limb to limb anyone who had a malevolent thought on that account would not be following my instructions so my energy shall be roused up and unflagging my mindfulness established and lucid my body tranquil and undisturbed gladly now let the fists stones sticks and sword strike this body for this is how the instructions of buddha so even if anger comes in then i recognize this anger that is coming in and i do not lose myself in my anger i just understand this is just the play of the elements that are happening so what my task is to be mindful of these elements and be free from these play of elements otherwise friends i, I will be stuck in this elements and you know play of these elements for birth after birth and this being stuck in the play of these elements has led me caused me suffering so much so what buddha said remember that what is more the the tears across all your lives that you have that you have uh, uh, shed or the waters in the four great oceans right so so the time has come to free us free ourselves out of this suffering by following the buddha's path of mindfulness and the noble eightfold path right so then uh, sariputta talks about that uh, while recollecting the buddha buddha the teaching and the sangha equanimity based on the skillful may not be stabilized in them in that case they stir up a sense of urgency in my loss my misfortune right they are like a daughter in law who stirs up a sense of urgency when they see a father in law so stirring a sense of urgency in ourselves right Re remembering that death is fast approaching so the simile is given of a daughter in law a newly wed daughter in law who comes in the husband's home and she puts on her best behavior so we have to be like that in our practice right because death can come anytime okay 
then water element has been explained then air element has been explained so this is a beautiful discourse like this is like a one of the best discourses right in uh, mn28 don't forget to read this right then uh, sariputta says Sar sariputta says when a space is enclosed by sticks creepers grass and mud it becomes known as a building in the same way when a space is enclosed by bones and use flesh and skin become known as a form reverend though the eye is intact internally as long as exterior sight do not come into range and there is no corresponding engagement there is no manifestation of the corresponding type of consciousness so now he comes to explain about the dependent origin origination that is how how the 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 interplay and the interaction between the various elements and the various aggregates right the four elements and the five aggregates through their interactions lot of you know form these feelings and all these things get created so they understand how there comes to be inclusion gathering together and joining together into these five grasping aggregates but the buddha has said one who sees dependent origination sees the teaching one who sees the teaching sees the dependent origination and these five grasping aggregates are indeed dependently originated the desire clinging attraction and attachment for these five grasping aggregates is the origin of suffering so it's not the the see so important one more thing we have to di differentiate the 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 grasping aggregate the aggregates are itself not suffering for example if there is a eye contact there is a eye base there is outside side and there is a lust that arises in me of seeing a beautiful woman outside that lust in itself is not suffering that so basically that contact is not suffering but the but basically what the lust that is arises in me right that is basically the suffering right this desire clinging attraction attachment so what basically we have to do and these basically tendencies get activated when this contact happens those tendencies of lust which is there in my unconscious they get activated this in the c form what basically i have to do is being mindful throughout my day exercising restraint in what i see what i hear all the five senses right it's like mindfulness becomes like the watchman of my five senses ensuring all those negative seeds they do not rouse up right so that that we have to do desire clinging attraction and attachment for these five aggregates is the origin of suffering giving up and getting rid of desire and greed for these five aggregates is the cessation of suffering at this point much has been done so so sariputta is like giving an encouragement that if you even do this at this point if you come that you make that effort right to give up and get rid of desire and greed that is also you have done enough right so this is the this is the sutta a very very good sutta and please do read it at your own please do reflect on it also and please do share your thoughts and reflections in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya